Hillary Duff's husband, Matthew Coma, has been suspended from Twitter. The 35-year-old posted about the situation on his Instagram stories recently, revealing he was permanently suspended from the platform after impersonating Gwyneth Paltrow. His IG story read, Goodbye Twitter, the troll was worth it. In a follow-up post, he added, Thanks for all the kind messages today. Closure's hard, but it's a community like you guys that keeps me positive and looking forward to the next time I find the opportunity to impersonate a celebrity on a social media platform. Big thanks, Gwyneth Paltrow, for the inspiration. Prior to his ban, and according to screenshots from Page Six, Matthew had changed his name on Twitter to be seen as Gwyneth Paltrow, as well as swapping his profile photo to be one of the Iron Man star. Prior to the Twitter situation, the Goop founder was making headlines for her ski crash trial in Utah. She ended up winning the trial and was awarded a symbolic $1 after a jury ruled she wasn't at fault in the crash involving Terry Sanderson. Was Gwyneth Paltrow at fault? No. Was Gwyneth Paltrow's fault a cause of Terry Sanderson's harm? Oh, no. Okay. There's just no response there. Okay. Was Terry Sanderson at fault? Yes. Was Terry Sanderson's fault a cause Gwyneth Paltrow's, did, um, did Terry Sanderson's fault cause Gwyneth Paltrow's harm? Yes. Comparative fault. What percent of the fault do you assign to Terry Sanderson? 100%. Damages. What amount fairly com compensates Gwyneth Paltrow for economic damages? One dollar. Nice. Signed March 30th, 2023. Thank you.